Hello again viewers and welcome back to Charlie's House Car Auto Repair. A friend of mine gave me a call. He's got a 2005 Ford 500. Rear brakes are squealing, making noises, so we're going to go out there and inspect it with the intentions of replacing brake pads and possibly or some rotors. Let's get out there and see what we're into. see what we've got. Well, doesn't look like anything bad's going on here. Yeah, let's get this thing and brake pad. The meat in there looks pretty good on this side. Let's get over here and see what's going on. Yeah, everything over here looks nice and clean too. And plenty of meat on the pads in there. Okay, well, let's get this jacked up and figure out what's going on. And there's uh, some scrapage right there. So let's figure out what this uh, has come from. First thing we're going to do is get this jacked up, check the suspension, check for any movement, check the wheel bearings. seems to be okay over here. Let's get over to the other side. millimeter bolt seem to be any kind of an issue here. Same the caliper. And it's a little New England rust. But uh, nothing seems to be damaged. Everything seems to be okay. Brake pads are good and thick. So I'm going to put this back together again. And just in case any of you guys are wondering why I went through the effort of taking this off, pull it back off again, just to show you that basically it's just to make sure that all of these components move, aren't stuck in there. So, you know, just put, the, put it all back together again. Well, yep. just found out it's time to dump this car. That's going to be a problem. It's the same way on both sides. But there are no issues with the brakes. We did find some signs of uh, scuffing on the inside of this rim. You know, a little, little bit of evidence here and there. Something was in here rubbing around, but it's not in here now. And that lines up with the caliper bracket and all the bolts are in place, nothing's moved. So it was caused by something that was stuck in there that just isn't there now. 
but all of this has been inspected so everything's good we have no issues other than that frame rot and uh, let's see what else did I see oh, there was a weird noise that came from the rear end but that's not something I'm gonna tangle with but uh, yeah good old New England this area destroys cars or any symbols on the back of the cap. In this case I don't see one. There is an oddball tab. And there's a couple of spots in here. I gotta make sure we put it into the right one or we can damage the cap. up with the Ford 500 
sometime in the very near future, you guys are going to be seeing this one getting torn apart. Well, I don't know what, if anything, you guys got out of that, but we couldn't find anything wrong with the rear brakes. Uh, everything moved fluidly the way it's supposed to. Um, there's no binding. The only thing that we could find was some evidence of something rubbing on the rims or on the rim on the driver's side. Uh, couldn't find what caused that. There wasn't anything in there that could line up in such a way. Uh, I did advise the customer that their parking brake cables are worn right through uh, on both sides. They need to be replaced. They're still functional, but they need to be replaced. And I also advised him about the uh, rot in the frame of the car. Let them know it's time to part ways with that vehicle. You just can't make a vehicle last up here in New England. It's just not possible. So, I realize you guys probably didn't get much out of that, but if you found it entertaining at least, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell for more upcoming videos, and don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. <laughs>